Uh-oh, I just lost my rudder, guys. Let's put this fish back, see what's going on with my rudder. I have no rudder. Well, good morning, guys. Let's see, it's about 10 after 9 on a uh, Tuesday, and I just launched out of the Faber Dyke State Park boat ramp. And the target fish today are redfish, trout, possibly a snook, maybe even a flounder. We'll see. Might also see some Jack Creval in here today. I can see some fish splashing by the banks. the tap guys there's a tap oh fish was on for a second oh what is that there it is there it is there it is guys that's why that's why you gotta really pay attention to the water and what's going on, watch the banks, watch the fish activity. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, it's a snook. Tighten that up. Come on buddy, get over here. Get over here. Get that net popped open. Come on. Tighten it up just a little bit more. Really nice snook, guys. All right, come here. Come here. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's a good snook. Oh yeah. And guys, this net I'm using, this has been my favorite net to date. I've tried a few different ones. This is called the uh, Black Paw is the is the brand. And I found this net on Amazon. I took a chance on it. It turned out to be a great net. I ordered another one. I've got another one at home, a backup one. All right, that just came right out. Just was barely hooked. Use the fish grippers on him. Look at this, guys. Look at that nice snook. He probably goes about, I don't want to call it uh, 23, 24 maybe. Really pretty snook. you in the water for a second keep you alive keep you healthy get the measuring board out that bank a little bit so if there's more fish there I don't spook them all. Oh he's bigger than I thought guys this snook is 26 and a half he's almost legal I think uh, I think snook you have to have I think it's 28 inches the minimum there's another one in there too that's 20 six and a half inch snook really good looking fish Beautiful fish. Oh, he was ready. Had him by the tail, I was gonna 
shake him a little bit and revive him. He, did, he didn't need to revive him. He was ready to go. All right, guys. Well, I had to pull out another paddle tail. That one was chewed up. I've been using that one in the past. It wasn't a fresh one. It was already chewed up a little bit. And this tippet leader looks okay. So this is, I think this is 15 pound test up here. But down at the bottom, I put a little bit of 30 pound leader right there. Just so these snook don't cut through it. I rig this up like a Texas rig. See if we can do this right the first time. Get this right up the middle. Look at that, that's nice. That is perfect. So now we've got a weedless paddle tear out here. When the fish hits, it's going to push that down and we'll get the hook set, hopefully. I think there's another snook right there feeding, so let's see if we can get a good angle. Get up here a little bit. reverse so we don't get any closer to the bank right here and just throw it right up against the, the grass oh he hit it twice guys hit it twice he might hit it again there's something in there Yeah, there he is, there he is, there he is. Coming at me, coming toward me. And now he's turned, shaking his head. Oh, it's a redfish, guys. Look at that, I thought it was another snook. It's a red. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Nice catch. Oh, look at that redfish. He took that bait too. He might be just under slot. There we go. All right, we're going to put you right back. Nice. All right, guys. We've got a snook and a redfish. And I see more fish activity over there, so let's keep fishing here and hope that there's some more. There he is. Good fish, guys, good fish. tension on him. It's coming toward me. What is this? Is this a jack? I think it is. I think it's a small jack. These jacks are fighters though. Even the small ones pull like a much bigger fish. That is a jack. Boy, he's a feisty fish. Wow. Unbelievable. Three different species in about what? Maybe six casts? Ooh, what was that? All right, 
Jack Craval. Uh oh, I just lost my rudder, guys. Let's put this fish back, see what's going on with my rudder. I have no rudder. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the cameras off while I figure out what happened to my rudder. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys, well, I've got no rudder at all. And uh, I took this little unit off, and I've got a little screwdriver. Tried to see if I could open it up, but I can't. I need a, a bigger screwdriver. So what do you do when you don't have a rudder? Well, luckily, that's where the, uh, oops, that's where this paddle is going to come in handy. This is going to be my rudder. So for me to steer, I'll need to use this. So the fishing is going to be challenging from here on in. I guess I'm not going to go much further than this. I'm going to just stay here and start working my way back. So it'll be a short day of fishing, but we caught some nice fish. Once we found them, I'd like to get one more. Oh, he was on it. There he is. Got you that time. and get out of here. Small snook. Nice. I say small. He's not bad. He's smaller than that last time. He's not bad at all. Come here. 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 Gotcha. Paddle out of my way for a second. Nice snook. Nice snook. All right. There he is. Really pretty fish. There's more of them splashing right now, so. Let's get you back. Let's see if we can get another one. Got a little bit of a breeze now. Maybe that breeze is going to blow me in the right direction toward the ramp. All right, guys. Bite was on for a little bit. Lost my rudder. And not able to go chase fish. Let's see if we can make it back to the ramp. Well, I guess I just have to make adjustments back and forth. Cool, guys. I think I'm going to make it back. And unfortunately, that rudder cable broke. This kayak is going on, uh, I believe it's going on two years now. And I haven't had really too many issues with it, but things are going to break on kayaks, especially the cables. So we need to get that fixed. Fortunately, I have another Lynx, another Hobie Lynx in my garage. So I'll be able to pull the uh, rudder unit off that one and get back on the water right away if I want. 
and I'll probably take this to my dealer and let them help me out. 